Hello and welcome back, thanks for joining me. And today's video is going to be a review video, and that review is going to be on this. So this is the Multi Pick Elite uh, Advanced Pick Set. It's the 40 piece Christina Palmer 0.4 and 0.6 gauge uh, pick set. Uh, if you're like me, um, you think about uh, picks in terms of thousandths of an inch rather than millimeters, which is odd because uh, we're supposed to be metric in this country, but it didn't quite work out like that. Anyway, the 0.4 is around 15 thousandths, uh, so nice and thin, and the 0.6 is around 23 thousandths. Uh, so some really nice picks. Um, now, I've never used uh, multi-pick products before, never used multi-pick picks, so what I would thought I would do is, rather than just opening this up, showing you what's inside, and you know going through what each tool's for, um, I thought I'm going to use this uh, for a week uh, to really give a well-rounded opinion of it and really give it a chance to sort of just give me a chance to sort of use it all um, and really see what I think about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to open it all up. Um, we'll just skip forward a whole week um, and I'll review this uh, when we get back. Stay tuned. I trust you had a good week. Uh, it probably zipped by for you, but it certainly uh, didn't go quite as fast for me. Um, what I decided to do was um, take my the, the picks that I normally use on my desk and pick with daily. I just rolled them all up and have picked exclusively with this set for the last week. As I said, I'm not familiar I up until this point. I, I haven't picked with multi-pick tools, so I wanted to give them a real good go. There were some profiles in here, which we'll have a look in a minute, that I was unfamiliar with, and I wanted to, um, you know, get just get a real sort of sense of the um, the entire set and just kind of really see what I thought of them. So I thought the best way to do that was to just uh, use them exclusively. Um, so let's have a look at it. So we get this nice um, leather case, which smells fantastic, as I'm sure you can imagine. And we've got the uh, Velcro strap holding him down. Um, it's really, it did stri strike me when I first opened this. This is a really well made case, really nicely put together. I'm sure it will last a lifetime. Uh, nice details like the embossed multi pick logo up in the corner there, uh, which is really nice. And they frame all of these picks pretty well. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of uh, hooks there and there, we've got a whole bunch of rakes, and of course we've got a whole bunch of tension tools, which I really like. Um, any experienced picker will tell you that um, picking the lock is, well using the, the, the hook, sorry, is half the battle and the tension um, is the rest. And as much as you need a nice variety of hook shapes to get into a variety of locks, you also need a variety of tension tools of different thicknesses, different shapes. And we've certainly got that here. Um, there's some tools in here that I've not used before that I'm slightly unfamiliar with. And that was another reason to uh, really give this set a chance. So we've got a whole bunch of, let's, let's just go through what we've got in it. and. Um, We've got these ones here, which is uh, the curved spoon. I've got it all written down here because uh, there's far too much to remember. The curved spoon, which is one of the profiles that I really wasn't sure of, um, just because I'd not seen it before, um, but I'd heard people saying good things about it. You can kind of substitute it for a short hook in a lot of situations. And I really like this one. Um, in some hooks that where you've got a bit in that's you know you've got highs and lows you're going to struggle to get around it you're going to perhaps going to need a deeper hook something a bit more like that or you know a mixture of the two because if you're like me when you pick um, you kind of you know you reach for one hook and you play about with it and then you'll grab another hook and then another hook and I kind of cycle through them sometimes on different locks so it's always good to have the choice but that one um, on certain locks certain bit in certain keyways is really good definitely really like it and I'll carry on using that one uh, and then it looks like we've got quite a sort of a steep I'd say it's a medium hook there and of course we have got the diamond uh, pick there we've got the offset diamond standard short hook there which is you know, a favorite of many pickers and then we've got a nice deep hook here uh, it's probably worth mentioning I did say in the beginning that you've got the 0.4 and the 0.6 which is the 23 thousandths sorry uh, 23 thousandths and around about 15 thousandths um, and the way it's set up is you've got the um, the thicker hook in the front and the thinner hook in the back and that's true for all of the hook profiles 
and all of the rakes they're all duplicated so you've got um, each profile in you know both thicknesses so that's really good so anyway where were we we looked at the um, deeper hook there and then you've got like another, it's another short hook there um, but slightly kind of uh, curved there. I did really enjoy using that profile. And we've got a couple of probes there which always come in handy. Now, I've never actually bought a probe. What I tend to do is, you know, when a pick snaps or bends or gets to the end of its life, which inevitably they do, none of them last forever, um, I just file it flat. But it's nice to have a dedicated one, and it's nice to have dedicated ones in two different thicknesses. Um, so you can get into, you know, a variety of uh, different locks. And then we've got a whole bunch of rakes here. Now, I'm not much of a raker, but I think in a set like this, it's great to have both there. You've got the choices there. Um, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four different types of uh, rakes. Uh, I think these ones here, that one there, you've got the four peak, the two peak. And this is another two peak, but it's slightly shorter. Uh, all wave rakes. So you've got the wave rake double, the wave rake quad. Uh, the wave rave wake small double and the the wave rake small quint cycloid there you go there's a tongue twister for you anyway i've got it out in the end um, so that's all the uh hooks and rakes and then you've got the tension tools so you've got these top of the keyways there they, these are described as uh, bottom of the keyway sorry and all the rest are described as top of the keyway with the exception of this one here which we'll get to in just a bit um, so those ones there, you've got three different thicknesses. All of the um, tension tools in this set come in the three different thicknesses, again, with the exception of this one here. That one's kind of a standalone one. And these are nice and short. I don't use a bottom and a keyway too often. But when I do, I do find that a lot of manufacturers, this return uh, that goes into the keyway, let's just uh, grab a, a keyway there is kind of too long and gets in the way i think if it goes in too deep then when you get a, your hook you know when it gets to the back pins doesn't have the opportunity to sort of kind of go round and, and dig up that last pin um, so i like a really short bottom of the keyway uh, when i use it anyway so the thickness is that these come in and it's worth saying that all of these tensioners are kind of etched as well uh, so you've got the multi-pick logo, you've got the 1mm, the 1.3, and the, oh, get you in frame, uh, the 1mm, the 1.3, and the 0.8, and that's the sizes that all of these tensioners come in, which is something that I really like because, um, you know, sometimes having a really snug fit in a keyway really helps you get control of that core. Let's pop these back. What I actually did was um, I played with this set, and I didn't look up. Uh, what all the hooks and, and various things were, I thought I'd just kind of, you know, find my own way um, and then look at that, you know, when I come to do the review. And these ones here, I assumed that these were also um, bottom of the keyway uh, hooks, but just, you know, very short ones, which indeed, if I can find one that fits, let's get a thinner one, which indeed they work really well as bottom of the keyway uh, tensioners. As I said though, I don't really use bottom of the keyway tensioners. If I can, I'll always use a top of the keyway. And these ones were really, really versatile. So these are described, let me just refer back to my sheet there, as uh, Turner single-sided, I think that's the, because they're all labeled, this is the SP54. So it's the Turner single-sided TOC SP54. Um, so it's designed as a top of the keyway wrench, but the beauty is I found with this is number one, you can use it as a bottom of the keyway, um, and because it doesn't have that deep return, uh, it doesn't get in the way down the back of the keyway. I think when I initially put it in top of the keyway, it was in that position, uh, holding it with my thumb if I was picking in hand, or just generally on that side, on the uh, left side of the keyway looking at it like that but I did find that it actually worked really well in that orientation and I'm, I'm not sure which way it's supposed to work or whether it's supposed to work is both but I really like that because if you're picking in hand um, although you can pick like that it does kind of stretch your thumb out and it's a little bit uncomfortable so I really kind of use this one quite a lot you know just like that um, and it's just nice and comfortable to hold um, so you can get in there and uh, you know pick your lock, which I really like. So yeah, those um, these tensioners here I really really liked. So these ones here again, you've got the uh, three different gauges. So let's just have a look at this particular one, which happens to be 
uh, the one these are the 1.3s you can just see them there on the handles so you got uh, one in each of the, of the thickness thicknesses the 1.3s the one and the 0 0.8 and then each of those uh, come in these three different shapes so I've just arranged those there so you got a nice short one in the front you got a medium one there and a deep one and of course that's uh, for recessed keyways so you know if I don't know if this one's going to fit in there um, yeah, so if you've got like the American 1100, you're not going to get this short one in there. But I think what you are ideally looking for is the shortest return you can for the you know greatest control. If you have one that's too long, sticks too far out the keyway, they tend to wobble about. So it's nice that you've got all three there. I think that one there is actually perfect i don't know if that's been measured specifically for the lock sporter's favorite um 1100 but it actually sits in there beautifully as you can see there nice and flush so yeah nice and comfortable uh, to use those and you've also got um you know three different types as well um, but i did find i think with the 1100 once again i think i favored uh, these yeah, sits in there quite nicely and does it work the other way? Yeah, it does. There you go. This is really nicely like that. As you can tell, I'm really sold on these ones. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, you've got three different shapes which help you get into different keyways, you know, deeply recessed ones or shallow ones. And I really like that. Overall, I can't uh, praise the tensioners in this set enough because I've just found them absolutely fantastic. Uh, so you've got yeah three different thicknesses there, and then you've got this kind of strange one here. Now I'm going to be honest about this. I didn't really find a use for this in the last seven days of picking. It's described. Let me just grab the. It's described as a tapered Bock bent turner. And it's the SP57. There it is. Oh, there we go. Um, now it's very thick. Um, it, you can see, sorry, say it's very thick, it's tapered, so it can fit into a variety of keyways. So, you know, something like that. It's, you know, it goes all the way, pretty much all the way into that one. And then you can tension it. But you end up with that, you know, kind of crazy angle. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of unnatural. Um, I couldn't really find a use for it. I think that if you've got a keyway that's particularly recessed, um, it would be great for, if you can imagine, something like that keyway go the right way around that keyway that was you know um i don't know nestled inside some kind of housing if we were to use a normal tension like that then you know perhaps you couldn't get in there so you'd have that one in a pinch and you would be able to get in there that's my only explanation for this but like i say i don't have any of those um perhaps if you were out picking you know crouched down in the rain in the field somewhere uh, this would come in really handy it's probably one of those tools that you would very rarely need it but when you do need it you'll be thankful that it's in there and it kind of sits in the back there quite inoffensively um, so we haven't got to worry about them too much so I, I guess it, it will come in handy one day and you'll be thankful of it um, just then looking at the um, hooks um, as I said uh, this one was really great I used that one a lot I think different pickers use uh, prefer different hooks um, a lot of people really like just the standard kind of hook um, like that one just there that kind of short hook again in focus which is a really nice profile um, I tend to prefer deeper hooks so I think out of all of the picks in here I prefer deeper hooks sorry in key ways that allow it so something like the American 1100 allows a nice deep hook if you're using top of the keyway tensioner um, so I think this profile here was one of the ones that I used um, the most um, I think and then it went down to probably uh, this one here was really quite useful as well I uh, found that and then the, 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 the standard hook used that one a lot um, I'm not a big kind of fan of the of the diamond but I do think it's good that it's in there because you can use them for zipping um, and then you can switch over to single pin picking I know a lot of pickers favor that so it's nice to have it in there um, and the offset one as well, really nice to have that in there because it just allows you to get up really deep when you need it. Um, I did like the the etching that comes on the uh, multi-pick handles. Uh, so you've got the, 
obviously the Multipic logo there, and then they provide the information on there, which I think is a really nice touch. I think it's a great thing to have on there. So you can see it's it's an Elite Pick. Um, it's the V55. It's got a unique serial number there, um, which is nice. As, and also you've got the uh, year of manufacture, and every single uh, pick is stamped with that. And with the uh, unique serial number, um, which is great. So... Um, and then on this one here, I think, the, yeah, the 0.4, you've got a 0.4 etched into it. And I believe that the 0.6, yeah, they don't have that on the back. They've just got this kind of funky little design, which is a nice touch. Um, I did find that, um, I've said before on the channel, I've got really big hands, so I tend to favour bigger picks. So I was a little concerned because these are a lot shorter. The handles are a lot shorter than what I was used to. Um, and the way I... The, the way different people hold their picks, you know, you'll find uh, picks to sort of suit your hand and your grip style. And I was a little bit concerned because I tend not to use my in in index finger too much um, and kind of hold the pick like that. And so sometimes a shorter pick can kind of end up getting lost in my hand there, you know, whereas other pickers it would rest on there. Uh, but actually, I found these really quite comfortable. Um, and I found the feedback in locks um, when you're picking uh, really, well, it was excellent actually. Um, and I did get a couple of locks open uh, from the naughty bucket in the, in the week that I was using these. So, you know, that's a real bonus. So I think what we'll do now we've gone through all of the uh, uh, hooks and rakes and tension tools in there. And I've waffled on about my opinion um, on them. I think we'll grab a couple of locks and we'll pick them and you can see the, uh, see the tools in action. First up, let's have a look at this curved spoon pick. So this is that, you know, kind of crazy looking profile. It, it kind of looks like a probe that's been uh, overexerted. You know, your pick kind of ends up looking like that after you've uh, picked too much, but this one's made like that. So let's get it into this um, Lockwood 334B45. Lovely little locks, these, and I'll use uh, that tensioner I was um, raving about earlier. So let's see if we can't get this picked. I think this lock here, it doesn't have the most challenging bit in the world. Um, actually, I'll just show you that bit. So, you know, it's relatively flat and that probably helps with a pick like this. I think, you know, perhaps if the uh, bitting was more challenging, we'd have to reach for a different pick. Um, something else, but yeah, there we go. Just got him open just that quick. I think that's why I really like that pick. It sneaks in under those pins, gets them open in no time. Next up, we'll try and deal with this master lock number five. And here I've got the uh, one of the tensioners there that kind of uh, stands out a little bit, and that just allows us to clear those rivets. If we use the shorter one, obviously it's going to hit into those rivets, and we wouldn't be able to get it open. And we've got the short, uh, which one was it? Short thin pick. That's the uh, profile of that one. But it was one that I really enjoyed using over the last week. Uh, let's see if we can't get this one open. Only four pins. There we go. Make short work of that one. I'm not generally one for raking, but let's uh, do a little bit of a demonstration with it. This one is the small double cycloid. There we go. And we'll bung one of these bottom of the keyway tensioners in there and see if we can't uh, get this little Euro spec Euro open. If I can get it in there, there we go. Give them a little jiggle. I think we got a, did we get a full set there? Yeah, we've got a small full set. So I'm probably going to use one of them peaks just to kind of pick those spools out. And there we go. We got that one open too. Well, I think it's probably about time that we wrap this up. I've been waffling for far too long about this. So let's just look at conclusions. Um, I think that this is a fantastic dual gauge pick set. You get a great selection of hooks. Uh, you've got a couple of probes there which do come in useful. Um, you've got the wave rakes there which are always nice to have in a set. You know, sometimes you get a lock and you just want to teach it a lesson. <laughs> get it open quick. It's nice to have those there. Um, you've got an absolutely awesome uh, selection of tension tools. I really like that. That's the, the thing that most impressed me about the set. 
what's the tension tools um, and it's nice to kind of have tools that you you know you're not particularly used to as I say I really like this one um, not so much this one but one day it'll become really useful and I'll be really glad that I've got it um, I think my only irk with this set is that the uh, leather is uh, stitched really well but it, it sometimes it is quite difficult to get the picks out of the case and I did find myself a couple of times you know you've perhaps got a lock in the vice picking away at it and uh, I kind of cycle through a lot of different picks, you know, and I just think, oh, perhaps I need, you know, this particular pick. And I just found it really stiff to kind of get out of that case. Now, I say that as a negative, but perhaps it isn't because, as we all know, leather will stretch over time. Um, so it will probably loosen up to the point that they'll still hold the picks. Um, but of course, if they were loose already in the picks in the in the pick case, they could be sliding out everywhere. So, yeah, very small niggle, um, but something that will probably, you know, ease over time. Um, so who is this pick set um, aimed at? I think this is would be a great pick set for someone who's been picking for a little while. You know, they've perhaps had the Chinese set, or they've had a you know a smaller uh, hook set that's got a smaller selection in it, and they're ready to kind of make more of a financial uh, um, commitment to the hobby and buy some decent tools that are going to last them a lifetime. And I think this is the set. Uh, for them you've got all of those hooks uh, probes everything else it's just kind of a, a really well-rounded set really good quality and I think it will last for years so there you go that's my conclusion on this set I've really enjoyed using it hope you've enjoyed watching me waffle on about it for too long um now multi-pick who are kind enough to send me this set to review um, also gave me a discount code which I'm going to put on the screen somewhere down there um, so you can head over to their shop the link is in the description and the link to this particular set is also in that description and you can use that discount code to get 10% off uh, in their shop so anyway let's wrap this up um, thanks a lot for watching get it nice and straight um, thanks a lot for watching I uh, appreciate if you could subscribe and like and comment all that sort of stuff it uh, really helps with the uh, YouTube algorithms and kind of keeps me uh, doing what I'm doing anyway thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one